Bites and from the Useless Crafter. We are doing a Wild One birthday cake topper today. <laughs> this was a special request. So I am going to show you a couple things. I don't know if I'm actually going to make it, but this will just get you started on how to piece together a cake topper. And then with Cricut's new offset feature, it makes it so much easier. We could do everything in design space. So all right, first thing is, let me show you where I got this cute little um, PNG file. So it's called Baby Safari Collection. It's on Creative Fabrica. And if you look in my link today, I'm gonna release this video same day only because it was a special request. <laughs> and then also Creative Fabrica is having a major sale. So the membership that I have is $30 a month. Um, you have access to all their fonts, all their images, and you have the license for commercial use. So that's 29 and normally I have a discount code. If you use the Useless Crafter 30, you get 30% off every month. So that's a great deal. I like it. It's worth it. It's worth it to me because I love their fonts and I love their images and I don't need to think about it. I usually only go here or Etsy for like specific files that I'm looking for. Now, the special that they're running is the first month is $1. So go to my link and get it because this file alone is $10. Um, you can try out, you know, for a month and see if you like it, download the stuff that you want to use, and um, hopefully you like it and you keep it. If you keep it going forward, instead of $30, it's $19 a month. You know, like I said, I find that it's worth it, but it is totally up to you and your budget. I totally get it. Um, but like I said, the thing that I really like are the fonts, and I don't have to worry about whether or not, um, you know, it's from Defont, is it free? Can I use it for other things and still sell? That kind of thing. All right, so go to my link, try it out for a dollar. It's definitely worth it for a dollar because this alone is $10. Okay, this little thing is just so stinking cute. I cut it out on needle labels sticker paper and it's just so cute. All right, so here this is. Let's go into design space. So we're gonna recreate this. So if the theme is a wild one, normally, I don't know if you would put wild one and then maybe the name or an age. It was a special quest and I'm not, oh well, I know it's one because it's the wild one birthday, but I don't think I saw a name on there. All right, so first thing you do is you wanna upload all the, all the ones that you want, right? So I've already done that and I'll show you. You have to upload individually, right? So here are my individual pieces and then you wanna bring it in and save it. Um, all right, so let's cancel out of that. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me bring it in because you're gonna to wanna to you're gonna to wanna to arrange them. So let's click on all of these and insert images. And you'll see what I did is, I just kind of rearranged them, stacked them so that you can see the different ones, and then um, we're gonna want to, oh, it's taking a while. We're gonna bring in the leaves. Everything else is from Design Space. The Monstera leaf here, and then the um, tropical leaves here, and then the banner for Wild One. So Wild One though, the font, let me just talk to you about the font. Okay, it loads really big. So all you need to do is, this is already highlighted. I would just change the size, make it, you know, like five inches. There, so now they're all over here, okay? Um, this font is called Birthday Balloon. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know, maybe it's a design space. Um, Let's see, I don't think it is because I so rarely use design space fonts, but let's see. Oops, it's called birth, oh, I didn't even spell it right. Um, birthday balloon. Yeah, it's not design space, but I don't know where I got it from. But it's cute because it's, you know, it's fun. It's got the little cutouts there. All right, so let's type in wild one. and it is taking a while. Okay, so I have this as lowercase. The one that I did obviously was all uppercase because the I is different. The L looks like it's the same no matter you use cursive or not, but 
I'm just going to type this in so that you can see the difference between the two. Okay, so here's wild one. Then let's go get our banner. So go to images. And in search type banner. And I think it's this one. I've used so many different ones here, but I'll click on this one, insert image. Now, when I first create my banner, I don't really know what size it is. As long as everything is sized proportionally to each other, we can resize it later at the end. But let's see how big this piece is. Okay, so eight and a half by seven inches. Um, eight and a half, that's kind of big. You would need a cake that's at least nine inches, at least. Um, I like to do two inches in. So if your cake is, you know, like 12 inches, I like to do um, one that's 10 inches so that you have a little bit of space on each side of the cake and then you have your banner or your cake topper. Um, but you can go, like I said, I mean, obviously you need your sticks to be inside the cake. So just keep that in mind. Okay, here is my banner, right? Let's make it bigger. And you're going to want to duplicate it. So duplicate that banner because we want the inside. So this one, the top layer, you're gonna to go to contour and you're gonna hide all. And that way, when you cut this piece, this piece will be behind this one. So let's bring this one to the front, arrange, send to the front so that you can, we can visually see what's going on here. And let's change that color to maybe this. So you can kind of see it. Um, and let's change this one to a lighter green. There, now we can really see it, right? Okay, grab these two items and I would just group them together so that it moves together right now as one piece. So let's move this down. Let's get wild one up here. Oops. Let's arrange and send that to the front. And that way it goes in here. Now what I like about this font is, I mean, obviously when you cut this out, you can make, you can curve it a little bit more when you're placing it. Um, so we don't need to do that here because it doesn't matter, um, is if you wanted to make this a little bit thicker, you could unlock it and make it, you know, like longer, wider, and it still looks good. So I do like this font. I just don't know where I got it from. <laughs> All right, let's grab the letters and the banner and group that as well. So that's going to move and be resized as one except that it's not going to let me put the text up in front. So just know that the text is in there. Okay, so here's this. Let's go get our leaves. So let's go to images. And this is fairly easy to do. Once we place everything together with Cricut's new offset tool, it's so easy to do that. All right, so in here, let's get our Monstera leaf which was I think I did this one okay insert okay I did do that one okay um so here what I did was I only want one I really just used two sets of leaves so let's grab this delete Delete, delete, delete. All right, so here's our leaf. And I want this to be in the background. Oops, what happened here? Let me undo that for a second. Oops, ah! Let me undo that, sorry. Oh, because I hate this. So when you rotate your images now, everything changes. What used to be, you know, to resize it, it moves. 
So it drives me insane. I keep closing out on it. Okay, so you want this leaf to be somewhere, I mean, this right now is like up to you, your design aesthetic, however you want it. These are gonna be in the background, as you can see here. Let's go get the other leaves. So go to images and then search here for leaves. And it came together grouped as a three, three leafer. <laughs> Um, let's see if I can find it. I don't remember scrolling so far down. Let's see, did I already pass it? All right, oh no, there it is. Right when I was gonna get away from it. So all right, let's click on that insert images. And this one, like I said, they're welded together. There is a background and then the additional leaves go on top. And you can see that here. Um, let's make this bigger. You see how this one has all of them and then the blue leaf is just on top. So you want something like this where they're poking out, right? Um, this one probably needs to be a little bit bigger, but we're resizing everything. So don't worry. Okay. So now that we have this, let's pull our animals. Oops. So we want the banner to be in the front. So let's arrange send to the front. Okay. So now our leaves are in the back, right? Let's pull our animals. Arrange, send to the front. All right, so here's our lion. So you can start putting them anywhere that you want to, right? I have that here. Let's get the other one. This one, I had her right around here. Okay, where are my other? Let's see. I'm gonna grab all of those and send it to the front. Okay, let's look at these individually. Okay, here's my little flamingo. I guess I had her like right there. And I also did this by color. So you can pull this one, arrange, send to the front. So you can see your animals can just be poking through. This one's sort of like front and center. This one is more just poking through. Now this one, because I put it on this side, I wanted this image to be flipped over because I wanted this to be on this side. So all you need to do is go to flip, flip horizontal, and then it's it's looking this way, right? So it fits more with our image right here. Okay, so you have all of that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna slice out the bottom. So if you like where your animals are, then what you wanna do is we wanna slice this off right here, right? So grab your banner and duplicate. This time weld it. It just becomes one piece so that we can slice off the legs from the animals, okay? So, um, all right, so here's our piece. You're gonna put it right where it's, right over where it is supposed to go. Then one by one with the animals, you're gonna grab the animal and the banner and we're gonna slice because we wanna slice off the bottom and we'll, we'll do all of that one at a time. So the only legs that are showing is now the flamingo and let's get to our, so here's our flamingo and then grab your banner. So hit the shift key and the banner and slice. Then 
we're gonna grab the banner and the lion. So here's the banner and then our lion and slice. And I think we've sliced out the bottom, so that'll be good. So let's start moving these things out. So we're just deleting all of our slice results. Oh, shoot, did I delete my lion? Let's undo for a second, okay. So delete that. So now we're gonna look at each animal. So this one, let's see. Oh no, here, this is what we don't need. So on this one, you see how this is left? <clears throat> now we can slice this off. So you would take a square for instance. I know it's a lot of work to get it. Um, what happened here? Okay, so let's unlock it and make sure our square covers all of that. And then grab these two items and slice. Um, okay, it's taking a while. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get rid of our slice results. So now we have just this piece, right? So this we can get rid of. So now we can put this back here. This we don't need. Um, this one. You need to do the same thing. We need to get rid of this bottom part. So let's bring in square. Unlock it. And then grab these two items and slice. And let me go grab the sticker so I can show you what that looks like. It's pretty cute with the animals. I know it's hard to see. Let me see. Oops, wrong way. This way. <laughs> it's really cute. All right. Um, okay, so we slice this off. Let's delete all the stuff we don't need. And then you can put her back to where she was, like right there. Okay. And then the lion, oh, do we not slice this one? Okay, so you need to slice this one, okay? But let's just pretend that it's sliced. Now what you wanna do is if the stickers are, or the animals are all in place, what I like to do is I wanna grab all of them. So hit the shift key and grab all of them. Okay, and you wanna flatten. You make it into one sticker. It's so much easier when they're one sticker to put down. Okay, then let's go back over here. Okay, so you've got that, you've got your leaves. What you want to do then is you want to grab all of this and duplicate it. And as soon as it duplicates, it's taken a while. We want to, oh, is it not giving us the option? I hate, design space kills me sometimes. I wanted to weld it together so that I can get my offset, but it's not giving me that option. So let's see what we can do. Um, I guess we could flatten. Okay. And then let's create that offset. And I, I would do a two, a double offset. 
So you have all your leaves, you know, all the different shades of green. You have your animals. You have your banner and the two different shades of that tropicalness. <laughs> and then you want two back layers. I would do one in white and then another one in green. I think that will really pop and make it look good. All right, so while this is thinking, let's talk about the offset. So there is a line right here that's neutral, that's zero, that means there's no offset. To the right is positive, so it's a bigger offset. To the left of that line, if you go in, it's an internal offset, it's shrinking, it's getting smaller. So those are your two options. You can manually move them and slide them back and forth, or you can actually type in the actual number of inches that you want the offset to be. You also have a rounded corner and a sharp corner. Um, you would see that more with like your letters, like think about your 3D letters, if you have the letter L and then you do an offset. If you did the rounded corner, then all the, the corners of the L's will be more rounded. Um, that's where you're gonna see it. Okay, so this is not working for me right now. You would just do it twice and then you would go to cut everything out. You would resize it at this point. But um, I think it's because I just have too much going on and, and it's kind of slow right now. So, all right, I hope that was helpful. I hope that got you to get going on designing a cake topper and putting it together. Once you cut it, because we're doing an offset, you have the layout, you know where everything goes. So that's really nice. I also like having the offset because it allows you to have a really sturdy cake topper because everything is sitting on top of it, but you have one big layer, you actually have two big layers. So then if you really wanted to be safe, you would do those two layers and then you would cut the same two layers or the, the most back layer so that you have your cake topper, your stick, and then that extra back layer covering the stick if you really needed to. But in this case, because everything feels really stable, not that I've made it, but I can tell from looking at the design, it's sort of like a solid circle or square, right? I mean, granted, it's not, if I had to put it down, right? But the majority of it is, it's centered. So the stick has like a lot of space to be glued down it's gonna keep your whole thing very very sturdy and also things to do to help it your offset ones you know do it glitter cardstock or do 110 pound cardstock if you don't have those papers um and you only have like 65 pound then maybe do a few layers of the 65 pound of the same size so it's not that you're doing an offset you're just doing multiple layers of that it just gives you more stability Again, I don't think you need it, but um, it's a cute cake topper. And the worst thing is when the cake toppers are flimsy. I know. I really, really, really don't like that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you want to see.